Morning guys, Friday morning still, um, coming to you with another workout, um, sandbags this time, so we did a variation of this session yesterday, I'm very sore from it, um, so this session is all done with sandbag and body weight, so again I shall spin around, show you what's involved, so we have sandbag clean, and then a walk with the sandbag. I'll show you all the, the, the uh, techniques in a second. Sandbag front squat and a press up. Sandbag overhead press and another walk. A sandbag walk, uh, lunges, and then a thrusters finisher. So, if you were to just kind of look into any of the leading fitness experts in the world, most of them are gonna be advocates of loaded carries, whether that be with sandbags or kettlebells or dumbbells or whatever, you won't find many people that won't agree that carrying weight for time or for distance um, in various positions on the body is a, will have a positive effect on strength, fitness, conditioning, and all that such. So this session focuses a lot on carrying weights in various positions and then doing stuff with the weights once you get to the destination after you've walked there. So this, they're all five minute rounds. This first um, round, sandbag clean. So you're gonna start at one end of the room. So I'm gonna show you in a second, but we're gonna start at one end of the room. I'm gonna do one sandbag clean. Then I'm gonna walk it to the other end of the room. Do, put it down, do two cleans, walk back, three cleans, and keep walking back and forth until I hit five cleans. And then I walk back and I start from one again. So that's that round. Um, with the walk, you're going to carry it in the rack position again, which I'll explain in a second. Second, maybe do a minute and a half rest. Second round, you're going to be doing um, sandbag front squats and a body weight push up. So you'll do one front squat, put the bag down, do one press up. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Go back to one, 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 two, two. Da, 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 da. Five minute round. Take a minute and a half off. Then we're going to be doing sandbag overhead presses. Same as before with the clean, so we do one rep, we walk to the other end of the room, we do two reps, walk to the other end of the room, do three reps, keep going back and forth until you hit five reps and then start again from one. The walk this time, you're gonna do with the sandbag in an overhead position. So that's gonna be a tough round. Uh, fourth round, so again a minute and a half off. Fourth round, you're gonna do sandbag walks. Again, we're gonna do this in the rack position. Then you're gonna do lunges at either end of the distance that you're walking. You can do them with the sandbag if you want, or you can put the sandbag down and do, them, do the lunges body weight. And then a minute and a half off. And then the last round is gonna be done. You can do like a four or a six minute or a two minute round, whatever you've got left in you. You're gonna do 10 seconds off, 20 seconds on. 10 seconds off, 20 seconds on of thrusters, which is like a little mini squat and using your legs to power the sandbag up overhead. So, to the technique. Just bring you over here. Again, let's plonk you on this. So, round one is a, a sandbag clean and then a loaded carry. So, I'm gonna use the light bag just to show you what I want. So, sandbag clean, bag on the floor. Squat down and I'm just gonna use my legs to drive up, whip the bag up to my chest. I'm kind of got this log, log carrying position. Walk it down from the to wherever I'm walking. Let's go so far so you can still see me. Put the bag down, two reps. And then I walk back to my start position. Back down, do my three reps. Walk, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And just keep going until five minutes is up. That's your first round. Second round, sandbag front squat. So again, you're gonna start with the sandbag on the floor. You're gonna to need to get the back in place. So again, we're back to that clean. So from here, whipping the sandbag up. Do, do your front squat with the back in that rack position. Sandbag down, down to the floor for a push up. Back to your sandbag, clean it up. Two squats, two push ups. Just keep bouncing back and forth between the exercises until you hit your five minute round timer. Uh, round three, 
just adjust this camera. There we go. Round three is your sandbag overhead press and then the walking in the overhead position. So you're gonna to need to get the sandbag up again off the floor. Again, back to that clean. Position the bag in the rack position. Overhead press, so press the bag overhead for one rep. And then, probably on the first rep, you're gonna to need to keep it in the air, so there's one rep. Walk it down to where it's going. You're gonna do two reps, so one, two, keep the bag where it is. Walk back, three, one, two, three, walk back, four, walk back, five, start again from one. That's your third round done. The fourth round, sandbag lunges, sorry, sandbag carry in the rack position and then the lunges with or without the sandbag. So again, with the sandbag up to the rack position, walk wherever you're going to. Then you can either do the lunges with the back in the rack position, 10 reps, back to the left, or you can put the back down and do the lunges body weight. Either way, once you've done your lunges, walk back to your start position, do your lunges again with either the back or body weight. So that's your fourth round. Fifth and final round, again, if you see what, what energy you've got left after you've done those previous four rounds, Thrust the round with a Tabata timing, so 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Again, you need to, you need to get the bag up to the rack position, across the chest, and then you're just going to be doing a little squat and using that little mini squat to power the bag up overhead. It's not a full range squat, you're kind of just dipping into that position enough power the bag out, it's quite an explosive movement to power the bag out overhead. With the little mini dip of the legs and the hips, make sure you're going here, sticking the butt out to power the bag up overhead and that you're not doing this and dropping the knees forward and powering out this way. There, all the effort's going on this kind of lower back area, straining the front of the body. Here, if I stick my butt out, these big muscles on the back the body, you're going to be the prime movers. Yeah, so maybe a three, four, five, six, depending on how much you want to punish yourself on that last round. Minute round of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Um, like I said, we did this last night. I'm pretty sore today. Um, but yeah, it was a good, good, fun workout. Just using one bit of kit and then your body weight. So if you've not got a sandbag, you could do all of that with kettlebells or you could possibly do it all with dumbbells as well. Um, just the sandbag and the awkwardness of holding the sandbag just makes for an extra challenge. Um, so yeah, if you can, use a sandbag. But if you don't have access to that, then just be creative and, and use some other piece of kit. Okay, there's your second workout for Friday. Um, hopefully, we'll be back shortly with another workout. Um, if not, there's two to go at, and I shall speak to you soon.